This is a Hab Dev. In this video, I will introduce to you what you get every time you buy one of my POSIS packs and how to start working with them. In order to use as an example for this video, I decided to pick my already published POS pack called Drinking Number 3. This POS pack includes 31 animations depicting humanoid characters drinking in different situations. So let's start by downloading and importing it to our demo project, shall we? As you can see, the package for it includes not only the animation clips for the drinking poses, but many other files also. Those are meshes, materials, prefabs, scripts and scenes used as demo examples of a few ideas you can implement to your project while using poses. We will review them a bit later. For now, just have in mind that once you have imported them in your project, you will not have to do so again each time you buy a new pose pack unless the newer ones contains an update version of these. Just the standard procedure with all Unity assets. As you can see, we have a new folder under assets called to have poses in it. We will find three other folders called free poses and demos, poses manager, and the name of the specific poses in the bot pack. In this case, drinking number three. At the same time, each one of them will contain many subfolders containing all the previously mentioned files. Until you are really familiar with those, I advise to you to not erase them if it's not strictly necessary. The first important step you should make always after getting one of my poses packs is to drag all the files under sin to resources folders, precisely to your own project's resources folder, in case you don't have a resources folder yet created under assets directory itself. If we check the folder drinking number three, we will find all the specific animation clips for this pose pack. You can see we have either animation clips themselves and animator controller files for each of them. If we check the demo folder, we will find a scene file inside which we can preview all the animations of the pose pack applied to a demo of editor. Please realize that promotional characters used exclusively for marketing purposes in my sales pages videos are not included in the final product you get. Sorry for this inconvenience. Let's check the demo scene. As you can see, you can navigate through animations using left and right arrows. Also, camera rotation can be enabled or disabled using space key, in case that the pose implies the interaction with a prop. This will be included in the scene. This way, if we check the props transform component, we can get an approximated idea of where to place it in our own project scenes. In some very specific cases, placeholder props will not be included. This will be the case for pose packs where the character is driving a vehicle or interacting with a very complex object. Nevertheless, I believe in those cases, is easy enough to figure out by one itself where the big props should be positioned. I hope you can understand. Next, let's try to apply our poses to different characters. For this example, I prepared a scene with different characters you can get on the store. We must always remember to make sure that we are using characters with a humanoid rigging system enabled. If not, poses will not apply. Do to unique newness of each character mesh and skeleton structure, poses will not always present the most optimal result at first try. This is a common situation for any Unity humanoid animation we want to apply to our characters, not only my poses. Nevertheless, and for now, I am sad to admit that the only way to deal with it is manually fixing them each time we need to. I hope someday a more optimal solution comes up. Seems that, in this first trial, we applied a simple enough pose that provides good enough results for all characters except one. Probably it's because the character doesn't have a proper humanoid evader applied to its animator controller. Let's fix it and keep trying poses until we find one that we need to fix manually. Alright. This one will do. This pose should represent a character drinking directly from a bottle. But, even at first glance, it's clear that most characters need fixing the right arm position in order for the bottle to be correctly aligned with the character's mouth. Let's place a prop in the scene and work with a specific character, Kyra, for example, to see it better.
as you may have noticed, while editing the animation clip values, it affected all the characters with the same pose applied at that moment. The explanation for it is very logical, as it is the solution for it. We should always work with a copy of the original animation clip for each different character. We can do that manually or with the Pose Manager scene and using my custom tag system included in all my pose packs for free, which has a video of its own to explain how it works. Please watch it also, if you didn't yet. Finally, let's review the demo scenes I included in all my poses packs for free as a token of my gratitude for your purchase. In them, I show you how to use basic tricks that, I consider, can help you to start getting new ideas of how to use poses and convert them into longer animation compositions. All the source code used for each scene is also fully included. Also, each scene includes a UI explaining what's the main point to introduce. In this first demo scene, we find different tricks like a non-playable character webbing at you if you are in its vision radius and getting into a different idle position when not. Other non-playable characters presenting different idle poses every time the scene is loaded and the player evader itself having a different set of idle poses every time it stands still. In this second demo scene, we find how a character can transition smoothly from one pose to another pose each time it speaks a new line. This way, we can create our own custom speaking animation, absolutely fitting the pace of our own project's narrative. Personally, this is my favorite trick. In this third demo scene, we can find how to use the poses form a knocked out pose pack in some organic way into our scenes. The trick here is to always make sure the carried body is a child of a specific bone from our player's skeleton and not just a child of the player's game object itself. Again, let me remind you that demo poses are also included in all my poses packs for free. In this fourth demo scene, we can find a simple system for non-playable characters to load different idle animations every time we load the scene. This can be a way to add a bit more of life to your crowded scenes, avoiding non-playable characters presenting always the same gestures. In fact, there are many ways to achieve this very simple effect, so this scene presents just a possible simple solution of many. The next demo scene follows the same concept of the previous one. This time, characters are supposed to be members of the same household. So, every time the player crosses the door threshold, the non-playable character checking its phone may do it in a different position than the previous one. Again, a smooth trick to give a sense of life to other characters than the player itself. Finally, in the last demo scene, we find an example of how to apply a sitting pose to the player itself. Again, this is just a basic solution between many for this kind of situation. But nevertheless, I hope it helps people with no idea of where to start from to achieve this kind of effect. Remember that you can find more in-depth explanations about these demo scenes and effects if you visit my YouTube channel called The Hab Dev and go under Playlist and check the animation tutorial list for Unity. And so, this is the end of this video about the content you will find each time you buy one of my poses packs. I hope I could have helped you to grasp the potential of poses. My future plans include the release of many more pose packs until I fill what I consider is the basic pool of poses related to common situations and games that creators may need. Also, if time lets me, I would like to upload more tutorials in my YouTube channel about animating characters. So please stay tuned. Until the next one, thank you.